Yo guys, welcome back. My name is Jason, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create these pretty awesome and clean effects to use in your next edit or even music video. So yeah, um, let me stop yapping and stop straight into making these effects. So the first effect I'm going to show you guys how to make is going to be this rolling text animation effect. So I already have an adjustment layer right here. It just has motion tile. Um, you don't really, you don't have to use this actual effect. I just have it for this effect and the other effects I'm going to use. Just so I can keep this uh, ratio right here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to create a text layer and you're going to name it with any text you want. So I'm just going to put lucky right here. And I'm actually going to bring down our font down a bit. So once we've got something like this, I'm going to go ahead and make a solid change our color to white, then create a solid. Then I'm actually going to zoom out and put our adjustment layer above. So now it kind of crops it. Then I'm going to move our solid all the way up here. So about like right there. You don't want it too much. We're like at least where it's kind of peeking out through the video right here. And I'm going to change our color of our text to black. Then I'm going to go ahead and add it onto our solid. I'm going to put it above our solid layer. Then I'm going to start actually um, messing with our text. Just depends on how you want your text so i'm just gonna go ahead and mess with this real quick so that's something like this it looks pretty clean then i'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate all these right here and we got something like this so once after you have your text written down right here you can go ahead and just highlight all of our text layers right here then pre-comp it then i'm gonna go ahead and add offset onto our text layer Drag an offset, go right here to the beginning, and you want to go to our shift center two. I'm going to go to the first part of our axis right here, and you just want to bring it up a good amount. So you can see where it actually starts moving, something like this. Then I'm going to click on a time watch, open up my timeline, go over here, right click, and then press reset to reset the position. And now we have this nice. Uh, kind of like advertisement where it's spinning. I'm going to highlight both keyframes. Easy ease it. Then I'm going to head to our graph editor. Then I'm just going to make this graph right here. So it comes in fast and it dies out slow. And it looks really, really smooth. You can see over here how it looks really smooth. And if I just have it without, it looks all wonky. It just looks low-key ass. So I'm just going to actually go back here. And I'm going to redo the graph. To make it look more nicer. Then I'm actually going to go over here and enable motion blur. So I got something like this. I'm going to close out our offset effect and add directional blur. Add directional blur and put our direction on 90. And you can go ahead and just bring up our blur length to like 10. Make a keyframe, then go by like right here where it starts dying out and put it at zero. And now you can see how it starts giving this like nice blur effect. I can even extend it out maybe just a bit. Let me go like right here. Let's see. Something like that. I'm gonna easy ease both of those keyframes. Close this out. Save and project. And just like that, we get this pretty clean spinning text effect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a, another adjustment layer put this underneath the motion tile effect that we have. Then I'm going to go ahead over here to animation presets. Go to user presets. I'm going to open up the Grinch Anarchy Pack. It's a Grinch preset pack actually just released what, a couple weeks ago. I recommend checking out the first link in the description below. And make sure to use code white 25 for $5 off at checkout. So I'm going to go ahead and add deep fried flicker one. I'm going to close out all these effects right here. I'm going to get rid of the curves. And then, you know, just like that, we get this pretty clean flicker effect. But you can see right here how it actually dies out on the, at the end. So I'm going to get rid of this keyframe right here. I'm going to highlight all this loops, not loops, but like this exposure loops I made. And just copy and paste it. And this is how it looks without the actual preset. It looks okay, I guess, but it doesn't really, you know, give that cool Grinch vibe. But then if I were to turn on the actual preset right here. It completely transforms my video 
makes it look even way cooler so if you guys are interested in saving time with editing and you like that grunge vibe check out the grunge anarchy pack it's gonna be the first link in the description below make sure you use code yt5 for five dollars off let me stop yapping with the self promo and let's move on to the next effect so moving on i'm gonna show you guys how to create this one frame shake effect so let's hop straight into making this one so the first thing i'm gonna do is just make an adjustment layer i'm gonna add invert and i'm actually gonna bring this down like right here maybe go around right here i'm gonna split our frames into two so the first one i'm gonna move above right here the second one right here on the bottom i'm gonna move down and just like that we get this nice one frame effect with the invert then i'm gonna make another adjustment layer put this down like right here then i'm gonna add s underscore shake go and add it right there and turn on our motion blur go here to x shake and you know i'm just gonna put this down to zero because if you don't have it on zero, it actually low key fucks it up. You can see here how it shakes the whole clip from the Y axis to the X axis. So like it's shaking left to right and up and down. But if you were to have it on zero, it just makes it look way better. You know, it just doesn't look all messed up. So, and then I'm going to Y shake. You go like right here. I'm going to cut our adjustment layer. Go to our Y rand amp. And put it to like 600 if you want. Just depending on how much you want it. Go to our amplitude. I'm gonna actually keyframe it. So we got like right here and put it down to zero. Put our adjustment layer. So it's just this right here. I like both our keyframes. Easy use it. Let's push this like right here. I'm gonna put this one below our invert right here. And we should get something like this. So it's a pretty nice and subtle shake effect. Then I'm actually gonna close our shake settings. Then I'm gonna add exposure. I'm gonna make a quick white flash. Put on four. Create a keyframe, go like right here and put it down to zero. Highlight both, both our keyframes, easy ease it, and you get something like this. We're gonna save our project, and then if you really want to, you can go ahead, like, go like right here and just duplicate it again. It's like right here. Let's see. And yeah, that's it for this one frame shake effect. Let's hop into the last effect I'm gonna show you guys how to make. And I'm actually gonna show you guys how to create this pretty nice in dreamy CRT effect. So I'm gonna make another adjustment layer. Go into here and put it underneath our motion tile effect. Again, you don't have to add the motion tile effect. I just add it because I wanna keep the same ratio. Add um, S underscore prism lens, drag it in. And you can even start, just go ahead and start messing around with our actual anchors or points right here and once you got a certain point on how you like it go to geometry and put on an ellipse and bring up our softness all the way up then i'm gonna close this out whoops accent turned it off so yeah make sure to go ahead and close this out once you're done messing with your settings then i'm gonna go ahead and add a time code effect go into here and drag in time code i'm actually gonna move this like right here and now we get like a nice Kind of timer at the top left right here then i'm gonna make another adjustment layer go down here go to the beginning close this out then i'm gonna go to animation presets i'm gonna use another effect for my grunge anarchy pack i'm gonna go right to my grunge cot essentials then i'm just gonna add the clouded vhs effect i'm gonna close this out and you know just like that you get this pretty clean grunge cot effect and I'm actually gonna do is just add scan lines, drag it in, and go to our frequency and drag it all the way up. And go to our sharpness and just drag it down because like if you were to have it, like let's say right here, just reset my sharpness is at one. But if you increase the line frequency on S underscore scan lines, it just kind of make low key messes up your clip a bit. So if I were you, just go and bring down our line sharpness, close this out, save a project. You know, just like that, we get this pretty nice dreamy CRT effect for your next edit or music video. So yeah, if you guys really like these effects, I recommend checking out the Grand Anarchy Pack. It comes with over 40 effects that are meant to help you save time editing and just overall increase the quality of your videos with a heavy grunge uh, vibe to it. Hope you guys enjoyed learning about all three of these effects. If you did, go ahead and like, subscribe, or even leave a comment on what you guys want to see next. Yeah, um, that's enough of me yapping. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.